Okay, everybody, I just wanted to make this video very shortly. I'm responding to the video of Al Jazeera in eastern Ohio at uh, McCain Palin rallies in which they were going around asking people what they thought. Of course, I'm sure they asked about Sarah Palin, but ultimately it was about the other presidential candidate, Barack Obama. And people's responses range from, I think that he's a terrorist, to he's related to a terrorist, to he's a Muslim, and if he gets elected, the blacks are going to take over, you know, things of that nature. And I've been reading the responses all over the internet from people, not just the comments on YouTube, but, you know, from other blogs and from my own website. And there seems to be a consensus from people around the world that Americans are stupid. And it's just so ironic how, and of, of course these people think that they're, notions have been proven based on the fact that George W. Bush was elected twice or, or once. But anyway, um, the fact of the matter is, I just wanted to make this video to say that the United States is a really eclectic place. We come from all different walks of life. We believe all different types of things. Um, and so while these people certainly represent, and I'm from Georgia, so the, you know, the fact of the matter is I see things like this all the time, but these people do not represent you know, a large, broad brush of the people living in this country. And, you know, unfortunately, these very people who are such core supporters of so many Republicans, they're really cutting off their own nose to spite their face. The Republicans, you know, they elect these people or they, or they um, nominate these people that supposedly represent Joe Sixpack, um, you know, whoever that is. And then when they get in office, they do so many things to screw the middle class, from tax cuts for the wealthy um, to, you know, NAFTA to deregulation, so many different things that um, ultimately are hurting the very same people. But they use these wedge issues like gay marriage, um, you know, racial issues, and... Um, so many other culture issues, abortion, all these other things. And at this point, what I don't understand from these people is at this point, if you can't tell that they're simply just trying to get your vote, then there's no hope. Because certainly George W. Bush and the Republicans had six years from 2001 up until January of 2007, um, in which they had the House, the Senate, and the White House. And in terms of gay marriage, in terms of, you know, abortion, all of those things are in the same place that they were before they took office. So if you want to be treated as an adult, then it's imperative that you hold your elected officials responsible. If they told you, if they made a promise to you that they were going to do A, B, and C, and they have not done that, then there's no reason to support them. And, you know, these people get so emotional and they use things like acorn and, and racial issues to try to, you know, pump up these people. But in reality, it's all just a way to get out the vote so they can go in and help their own constituents, which happens to be, you know, the wealthiest of the wealthy. So while I know there's been a lot of comments and a lot of videos that have been made in which people have, you know, pretty much roasted these people, I really just feel bad for them because the, it's the saddest ignorance of all. They don't know what they don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.